Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies, brand new James Beam. James, not Jimmy, not it's, Jim. It's called Old Tub. It's a throwback to the past. It's in a tub. We're going to test it! Tub style, baby. We won't be in a tub style. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, old tub just doesn't sound as appealing, I'm going to tell you. I like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, last week I'm in the liquor store. I hadn't seen, I didn't even know this was coming out. It stood yes. out on the shelf, the, the labeling. Unfiltered, yeah, it's old retro looking. Yeah, I mean, it looks old school uh, from the days of yore. Uh, <laughs> yore days. <laughs> <laughs> looks like I saw it on the shelf. I'm like, oh, the 30s or a something. new Jim Beam. All right, um, let's test it. Yeah. So 50% is bottled in bond, no age statement. It's unfiltered. I like that. Yeah. So they say basically it was just kind of a screen filter to catch big chunks of wood. Big chunks. So so it's 50. Oh. It's bottled in bond, which fits that age four years or more. Yeah. Minimum. Gotcha. Pause. Coins. All right. Unpause. Oh. We're back. <laughs> 587. Woo! 585. 585. How many of these we got left? Can't be too many. Uh, yeah. Still got quite a few. Thousand? No, <laughs> not that many. <laughs> All right, so this is a celebration of what the Jim Beam whiskey was before they were huge. So, yeah, supposedly before Jim Beam. So from, this right. is from James Beam Distilling right. Company. This is, this is when they didn't; they weren't as comfortable. They couldn't. You couldn't call it Jim yet. Yeah, and it is Kentucky. It's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey right. as well. Bonded. Bottled in bond. Woo, a lot of cinnamon. Nice. Dusty. Yeah. Dusty, dusty thing, cinnamon dusty barn. barn. Yes, dusty cinnamon barn. There's a cinnamon barn out there, and this is from it. Slight rye, sweet, maybe like a honey, citrus sweetness. I can see that. Yeah, there's like a honeycomb kind of sweetness to it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, good color, unchill filtered or unfiltered, 50%. Dry, mm -hmm. little astringent, yeah, nice sweet, astringent. Can sweet candy corn. A lot of oak though, I get. A mm, little bit of oak. Um, trails off dusty as well. Cinnamon. Yeah, the I didn't get as much cinnamon as I thought. I know root that's beer. on the nose. Hmm, maybe that is the root beer I'm picking up in the finish. I was trying to puzzle it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like almost a touch of the root beer barrel candy, almost. Yeah. With the sweetness. Yeah. Let me try a drop of water. That was a lot drier than I thought it was going to be. Surprised me a little bit. It has... Do you want water? Uh, please. It has a really nice palate for the price point that this is coming in at. And How which much we'll is discuss, well, oh, we'll discuss in a little bit as we get through. Yeah. Got me in. But, um, Again, just a really nice palate. It probably comes off older. Um, it doesn't come off as a young whiskey or something that just hit that four-year uh, minimum age. A lot of cinnamons, the candy corns, root beer candy, slight rye, dusty, astringent. Palate is nice. I mean, it keeps going. I'm still tasting it. Bart will be offended sometimes by the oak. I don't. I like the oak. Not there offended. is some, there is some oak here. Oh no, you can get yeah. offended. I don't get offended. I just <laughs> don't prefer. Yeah. I, I don't like oakier whiskeys. Less wood. Scott loves the wood. <laughs> Sorry. We've got one coming up. The fifteen year Knob Creek. We'll see what you call it. I think somebody is just it? asked me about that. Might have been Manchester. Manchester may have asked me about that. There's so many Knob Creeks out there, I can't even remember what we've had and what we have. Mm. That's part of the Well, deal. yeah. But, I like this. Um, and, like I say, at the price point. All right. I will say for me, I thought it was going to be sweeter. I like my bourbons a little more sweet rather than more wood, oak. Um... It's got some popcorn finish flavors in it as well, now that I've added the water. But a little bit still in the finish of that sour oak as well, 
where it tastes like the wood a bit. Not as pleasurable for me. <laughs> so, um, I have not seen your score yet. Let me see here. I'm, I'm rusty, dusty. Uh, You're rusty, dusty. Uh, rusty, dusty on even scoring and having you sitting next to me. 84. What'd you do? 89. 89. Yeah, there you go. Probably. 84. Yeah, it almost went lower. Hmm. Um, it's got, I mean, it's smooth. It's just, it's not in my, and that's, again, my palate in particular. If you like oakiness, I think you'll enjoy this. Hmm. It's a little more stringent. I thought it'd be more sweet. I was hoping for more of the vanilla honeys. I don't really get a lot of vanilla honeys in here. I get some of the popcorns. And then the oak. It's yeah. just me. Yeah. Um, I would agree, not much vanilla, a lot of cinnamon, a lot of dust, a lot of, can to me, candy corn, root beer candy. It's a nice full palate. Um, some $30. I think it's $29. Uh, I mean, that's that's a great price. And it's one reason I love Bottle to Bond, quite honestly. I think if you had this blind and somebody told you this was a highly allocated bourbon <laughs> and I wouldn't have there, was, there was only, you know, so many bottles of this and they paid... 154. You, you think, think oh, me? wow, it's really good. You think I would? No, have I, no, no. Oh, no. You, the viewers watching. Sorry. I, I guess I did say yeah, if you, you had this blind, right. I'm, thinking, I'm talking to the camera. Because I wouldn't fall I think for it, that. So, it, well, no, you don't. Yeah, because it's oaky. <laughs> That's it. I'm not judging <laughs> by price or highly allocated or what those people say. No, um, I don't. Yeah, that wouldn't. I would be like, mm -mm. That's one thing I love about our 16 bottle blinds. When we did the bourbons, we were both stunned. Mm -hmm. We had a highly allocated stuff in there. Go watch that show if you want to see him curse. That's even a few years old. Now. Yeah. 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 You said a curse word when you were done. You said you got to be bleeping me. We have been talking about doing the um, the Do bottom shelf. Well, the a bottom yeah, shelf. Yeah, I would love to do a bottom blind. shelf bourbon. Blind. Yes. Um, yep. I, I want to. I wanted to say shootout, but I don't know if we can say that anymore. You yeah. You can't. Be it's a shootout. It's a it shootout. Could, it's a bomb. My trigger some people. Shootout. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, I don't know if we can call those shootouts anymore. I think we can. Because mm. it's Might just, like, it's um, like mythical. It's not a real, it's how not about like a we're shooting them. 16 bottle peace treaty. <laughs> it would it would be a peace conference. Yeah. A 16 <laughs> bottle peace conference. <laughs> that is probably offending some folks now. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound nice. <laughs> what? What? What are you doing? Cut this all saying. out. <laughs> this is an option for cutout. That's all I'm saying. No, I don't think so. Anyway, um, I think this is worth it. I think it's good. I think it comes off uh, better than the price point. So um, thirty nine, you said twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a good at the price count. Yeah. Um, I do like the finish. I mean, the popcorny finish. It's just uh, again, I thought it'd be sweeter. Sweeter as you look up Patreon supporters. If you guys like the show, even a little bit, mm -hmm. you can go to patreon.com, look up Scotch Test Dummies. You'll see us on there. You can come in and support for as little as a dollar a month. You can do a dollar a show. You can do $25 a show. You can make whatever your, your amount is that you would like. If you're entertained by us, even in the least wee bit, Please go to patreon.com. What do you got? Uh, Jason C. Jason C. One dollar supporter came in. Thank Ooh. you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. I give him a little bit. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Oh, I thought it was like an air high five. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jason C. With all the slowdown, uh, Patreon has slowed down a bit. Mm -hmm. So if you like the show, we had one fan say he watches us more than anything else on cable. He cut the cable and decided to share out the savings with several, not just us, but YouTubers. Did you so ever say you had 585? I did, right okay. from the get-go. 585. 587. So I'll wait for you to sip that. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Launch it. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>